Hey crafters, it's Janet from Crafting It Up in Creations coming at you today with the 2019 Cottage Cuts Easter Hop. Now I am so excited to share with you guys that I have been asked to be a guest designer for this hop as well as Mary from um, over at Cards TV with Mary and both of us are guest designers as well as a list of extremely talented ladies that are in this lineup. Um, pretty much on the normal um, here on YouTube, and that is Sherry from Craft, Pray, Repeat, Carol from Carol Herlock, Elaine from Max and Shoji, Rebecca from I Am Mama 24, and Janet from Sugar Shine Designs. And you have to forgive me because I've got a little bit of a uh, sinus thing going on because it's like four different seasons in Virginia in the last uh, two weeks, honestly. Um, and we went through them twice. <laughs> so I do sound a little stopped up, so I do apologize for that. But I just wanted to tell you guys how excited I am. I've watched many videos and hops with these ladies, and I truly uh, couldn't be more blessed to be alongside them for this hop. So for the rules for the hop, you must make sure that you don't have your privacy settings on, so make sure your profile is visible. That way we can make sure that you have liked and subscribed to all the channels and leave a comment. This is to make sure that you're eligible for the giveaways and each channel will have their own giveaways to follow along in the hop and any additional rules that they may have that uh, will make you eligible for that channel. Now for mine, I'm gonna do a $20 uh, PayPal credit where you can choose to spend it on any crafty item of your choice. And the Easter uh, hop starts today, March 30th, and it will end April 6th. So make sure you come back to see if you're a winner. And I'm so excited to share with you guys what I have made. But I'll first show you uh, a lot of the dyes that I used um, in making um, the projects that I did. And I used quite a few. So I used this Cottage Cuts. It's the Happy Easter Greetings dye. And it's very cute, but it's very small. I'm terrible about reading how big things are. And it's just so cute. I used it on some tree cups. And then they had this little uh, little bunny peeps. That is a super cute set. And then I love this um, spring meadow set by Cottage Cuts. I used some of the grass and the flowers in there. This is a My Favorite Things Stitch Circle Stacks. And I used one of the, um, actually a couple of the circles in the treat cups. And then this is a little girl with a flower. I absolutely love her. She reminds me, I guess, of when I was little, a strawberry shortcake in a way, but I just love this little silhouette of her. And then the next one I used is a Tim Holtz Sizzix Alterations uh, Wildflowers. There are seven dyes in here, but I ended up only using the little sprig to the left that kind of looks like uh, lavender. And then they have, also by Tim Holtz, this is the Detailed Butterflies Mini. And I layered those and used one of those in my project. And I love these, they're really pretty. And then there's this Wildflower Landscape by Memory Box. Um, it's a really nice dye. I think even cut out, um, I cut this out several times in green, but even using it in white and maybe coloring it with Copic markers would be really pretty um, and probably less tedious than trying to paper piece it. And then I also used this Spellbinders wreath. I used the larger outer wreath and that sprig in the middle and the two flowers as well for my projects. And then this is a Simon Says Stamp, My Kind of Peep with dies. Now, I didn't use the stamps, but I did use the dies on the back. They look like little peeps, and I used all three sizes. This Cottage Cut Spring Air, uh, Spring Hot Air Balloon, I just used the egg. And then the Lawn Fawn Extra Special Easter, I just used the uh, small eggs that were in it as well. And then I put my extra pieces in there that I didn't use. <laughs> So I can use them next time. And then this is a six die set of uh, rosettes by uh, Tim Holtz Alterations. And I used the one to the far right to create a rosette. But as you can see, um, there are the pieces. And it even gives you that center piece, you know, that you can glue it down to. Which I think is kind of neat for that set. 
And then this is a die I've had for a long time. It's called Easter Elements. It's one of the steel rule dies, and it has that really pretty bunny silhouette, large one, um, along with a bow. And, and there is even a butterfly, but I just used the bunny and the bow. I used some of my Stampin' Up! cardstock that I've been hoarding. Um, this is the uh, in color 2015 2017 colors. I still had those, and I used the brown out of there. I wanted some pastel colors, so then I also chose their soft subduls um, paper pack as well. And these are the eight and a half by eleven. I love color coordinated cardstock, so that's one of the reasons that I was drawn to Stampin' Up. And then I also used this uh, Recollections uh, paper pad. This is like a glitter paper pad, and it's got all kinds of pretty colors in there. And then I got this from Tuesday morning. It's a Bow Bunny Secret Garden uh, 12 by 12 paper pad. And I used uh, some of the papers out of this collection as well. And there are so many uh, pretty patterns in here. But I used a couple of those on the little treat boxes that I did. And um, the last project I'll show you. And then this is a Shimmer Pastels matte stack. There's 36 in here. This is die cuts with a view. And it has all kinds of pretty colors. I use these for the eggs, for the bunnies. Um, there's all kinds of pretty ones in here and for the and the big bunny that I'm gonna show you on the, the first project. But that's the Shimmer Pastels matte stack. Now the first thing that I have to show you are these little garden stakes. These are from the Dollar Tree and they were just eggs all playing by themselves. It's super cute, but I decided to go ahead and add the Silhouette Bunny to each of them. And I flipped the cardstock around so that they were facing in opposite directions. And then I added a little bow to them that is a little piece of like a leather ribbon that's from Hobby Lobby. And then I put a little glitter bow at the bottom that I thought would kind of just go with the Easter colors. And I'll put these outside my front door in our planners, our spring planners, and hopefully the weather won't get to them because um, it's kind of further up on the porch. But that's my first project. I thought those came out really super cute. Um, Dollar Tree really has some good things to use as a, um, a starter with some of your projects. And then these are little cookie containers. I got these from the Stamp Doctor, um, and it's the stampdoctor.com. They're super cute. Stampin' Up! also has some that are kind of like it, but you can put cookies or treats inside of it. And then I just decorated it with a bunch of the um, papers um, and dies and layered them up really cute. I used the little butterflies, the flowers, the peeps. That little piece with the ears that went with Happy Easter, and then I layered the stitched uh, or the stack stitch circles on top. I've got that wildflower border. I've uh, added some little uh, flowers in between and some of the little eggs as well. And I thought these came out really cute. I hope to make at least ten of these to take to work. Our um, intensive care unit only has 10 beds, and it's likely for Easter they won't be filled up. But, just in case, then I can have like a little treat to give to the patients. And that's really cute. I love these little containers. The little lid snaps on really nice. Um, the lid is plastic, but the container itself is like a paper. So, it makes it really nice. And I used... Um, hot glue for some of the elements that I added on there, but I mostly used um, flitter glue. And there's a couple little peeps there. I added some grass in front of them and then added the eggs to the side. And there is the um, saying Happy Easter that came with that little ear. And of course it had the same treats inside of it, so I didn't open that one back up. And then this one's the same thing. I just used the row of peeps and then I added one of the um, peeps on top, added some of the grass off to the side of them and some eggs and the cute little butterfly and did the same thing on top. And I thought these came out really cute. I love that purple paper that's in the background that kind of looks like hydrangeas. I love hydrangeas. And then this is like a little window. It came from the Dollar Tree, the base of it did, and it had an acrylic piece in the middle of it that I took out. 
but I added uh, Prima Flowers over there to the side, a rosette, uh, two of the bigger um, Easter eggs from the hot air balloon set. That's a little uh, butterfly that I layered. And then all the little um, Simon Says Stamp peeps I added on there, as well as smaller eggs and the bigger eggs. And I thought this came out really cute. I think I would love to do one of these for each of the seasons. Um, because I think I can just come up with so many different things to make little window sets with. I had thought about even putting two of these together. Um, I'll have to add another hanging element to it because I'm going to use it the long way instead of up and down. But I added the little attachments, uh, like the handle. They are from Hobby Lobby. And I glued them on, but then I did end up screwing them into the frame because this is kind of like a... It's not real wood, but it's like a pressed board, and it's a nice um, thickness press board. And so those little screws went into there nicely. And, of course, they're, the little hinges up top look antique looking. So I just think this looks, you know, like it's an older frame of some sort. So I really like how that came out. I can't wait to hang that up. And then last but not least, this is my favorite. This base also came from the Dollar Tree. Um, I think it was more geared towards like a kid's room sign, but I saw it and I was like, oh, that looks like such a cool banner sign. Let me get one of those and maybe um, uh, dress it up a little or upscale it is what I like to say. But I added a piece of the um, background paper that kind of looks like a wood and it's got those beautiful flowers. I Mod Podge that um, to it and then put Mod Podge uh, over top of it. And I ended up with one little crease, but I think that adds to the, the aged look of this. But uh, I was really worried when I first did that because I had like several bubbles in this. So I was um, grateful to have watched another channel where they said just wait it out. And I did and all the bubbles disappeared except for that one crease. So I used the Spellbinders uh, wreath die, and of course it's got that cute little um, hanger attachment already on there. And I used the Spellbinders wreath die, I used that cute little silhouette of a girl. There's that um, wildflower piece that I kind of reminds me of lavender. And then I added those meadow um, pieces down at the bottom, and I just cut several of those out. I did the little butterflies and the purple glitter paper and added little purple flowers. Um, I had a lot of purple in this. Um, that's actually one of my favorite colors. And then I did add a Prima Rose down at the bottom of that. But I thought these all came out super pretty. I'm so excited to share these with you. I hope you guys um, like them. If you would, comment down below on which one is your favorite. Don't forget to like all the videos subscribe to all the videos to be entered in their drawings and mine as well for the $20 uh, PayPal credit. Um, follow the links down below that'll take you to all the other crafters that are a part of this hop and I thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun making this and I'm so honored to have even been asked to join in the hop as well. So go show these ladies some love. If you haven't already subscribed to their channels, make sure you do so. I hope you guys take care. I hope this old um, spring cold stuff misses all of you and uh, skips right by your house. Thanks again for watching. I hope you get a moment to craft it up. Take care and God bless. Bye.